move on to looking at countermeasures, we always need to start with some of the basics. One of the first rules of thumb is to make sure you aren't running your computer on a daily basis with the administrator account. So smart. This should go for both the computer systems at your business and at home. This one act prevents a number of attacks from being used, uh, being successful, but by itself will never keep you 100% secure. Absolutely right. And, and as you would expect, you should make use of a firewall product mm -hmm. along with an antivirus product that generally uh, should include anti-spyware and anti-trojan detection as well. Now, professionals like to recommend the use of an intrusion detection system to help you monitor attacks that are actively occurring. Mm -hmm. As an example, you may go visit websites and maybe click on a link that includes an exploit to take advantage of a known threat in your web browser. Normally, your antivirus program would stop this. However, the attacker has utilized one of the programs we looked at to change the signature of this exploit so that the antivirus program cannot detect it. Now, the good news is, is that even though the exploit is not detected, the attack is likely to be found out by the intrusion detection system and will then alert you to what just happened. We will uh, take a look at some of the tools that can be used to monitor your ports and software running on your system along with monitoring any of the registry um, or any of the registry modifications that can occur. It is also a good idea to monitor the system files so that the integrity of those files can be maintained. We are all very busy just trying to stay ahead of life itself, <laughs> but if we implemented this countermeasures and stay abreast of the latest threats by continuing education, we should be able to proactively mitigate many of the threats to our infrastructure that us saving time on a daily basis. True that. All right, it's time to take a look at this a little more closely. One of the countermeasures that is very successful is to verify that the file that you have received or downloaded has not been changed or manipulated in any way from its original state. Now, in our studies, we had mentioned an application called Tripwire that will verify file integrity. I'm going to show you a free tool that we can use to manually verify file integrity. In this folder, we have the program MD5 Checksum Verifier. We have already installed this uh, program, so I'm just going to bring it up for you, uh, uh, take a look at it here. So let's discuss a little bit about what is happening here. Now, we know that when you enter a password, it will be hashed by a specific algorithm, and that password will always produce the exact same hash result. The exact same thing applies to your files, it applies to your folders, it is, it's a file identica, uh, identical to, it will always produce the exact same hash as long as you have used that same hash algorithm to produce the end resulting hash. So as long as the file has not been changed or manipulated, again, it will produce the same hash on many websites. When you download a file, it will have the hash listed on the website so that you can verify its authenticity or integrity prior to using it. Now at this point, Take a moment and ask yourself, why would they do this? If a hacker could have changed the file uh, that you're downloading, they can also have changed the hash in most cases that exist on the website, but not always. Now, there are times when a hacker may have been able to change the file itself because it sits in another location where the web page just points to or there is a, a rare possibility that the hacker could manipulate or change the file as it is being transferred to you, again, based on the location it's coming from. It really has everything to do with that. So this second option is usually done with a man in the middle attack and it is possible for a hacker to add what you're downloading or take what you're downloading change it, and then at that point, pass it on to you, which means that the download takes a little longer, but sometimes you just blame that on connectivity, your internet connection, or that the network is very busy. You don't know why it's slowing down, but it really doesn't matter to you. Since there are many different types of attacks that will allow the attacker to change the downloaded file, they provided the MD5 hash so that you can verify what you have downloaded. Now, Thinking back to the previous demonstration where, if you remember, we combined Zeus with IE and named it Zeus IE. Now, if we had called this iExplore and, and used the same icon, now everything would look identical to the user. So at this point, let's go ahead and look at the checksum of the original iExplore. Now, we click Select File to calculate MD5 and choose the iExplore file. Click Open. I can see right here the checksum for that file. 
It was going very fast. Now let's go grab the new iExplorer file that we created. It's quick and easy and, and see that it is different. It does not matter if the size of the file is identical or not all that matters of the actual content, really. Uh, if one jot is, is tittle or is exchanged, the checksum or hash will be different. Now, it's obvious here that we would recommend that you verify the authenticity or integrity of any file that you download from the internet. Uh, keep in mind, you can also use this to check some key system files from time to time if you would prefer not to purchase some of the programs like, say, Tripwire. It's a good example that could do that for you automatically.